Good evening and happy Sunday. Your boy Hostel Yogi is coming at you from the gym Zantiva here on the beautiful and healing island of Kopangan, Thailand. I have the gym all to myself. It's pouring down rain and I've been promising you some yoga. So what better time to do it than now? Many of you are just waking up back home in the USA in Miami. So maybe you want to do a morning stretch. A lot of people have been asking me for yoga and in the same time mention that they start but they fall off. Some of you have said you'll start to practice but you cannot stay consistent. Any habit that you want to start, you want to start small. Something you can do in just a few minutes. And if you win and you accomplish that every day, you can grow and build upon that. So why don't we start today with just one pose? It's as simple as that. You can take one pose for one minute. You could do it for three minutes. Maybe you indulge for five. If you make the habit of just doing one pose every morning or one pose every night for only one minute, you're guaranteed better chance to stick with it. So join me now on the mat, on your blanket, on your towel, on your floor. I'm not even taking my shoes off just so you can see yoga is for everybody and for everybody. You don't need props, you don't need any special place, you just need a willing body and the mind to bring you somewhere to do it. So this pose is going to be for the groin. It's also a bonus stretch for the hamstrings. If your hamstrings aren't tight, you probably won't feel it. But if you're into fitness, any kind of sport, maybe your hamstrings are tight, you're going to feel it. So you want to take your legs and you want to V them out as wide as possible. You may even slide your hands underneath your knees and bring them a little bit wider. And if this is intense, you'll stay here. If you wish for more, you place your hands behind you and you'll scoot your butt forward. You can even heel toe your feet out a little bit wider. You can leave your hands behind you and you'll feel a nice stretch in the groin area. You can leave your hands here for a few seconds or a few breaths. And when you get acclimated to the pose, you will come forward. Your head can be up or your head can be heavy. It's raining really heavy outside. Perfect music for the background. I hope you can hear me well. This is IG Live. And it will be going on my YouTube channel. You can find me on YouTube, Hostel Yogi on YouTube, the same as here. When you get comfortable here, you're going to fingertip walk your hands forward a little bit deeper. Again, increasing the stretch in the groin area. You may now also feel something even greater in the hamstrings and maybe in behind the knees. Place your hands back in front of you. And let's fingertip walk a little bit deeper. If you count your breaths, 10 breaths is around a minute. So if you're only going to do one pose for one minute each day, 10 breaths and you're done. It's a great way to start your day. It's also a great way to finish your day. If you want to add a little bonus stretch, you can walk yourself over to the left. I'm mirroring you. You'll place your left arm on the inside of your left leg. And you'll bring your right arm. You can place it on the back of your neck, the back of your head, or you can reach long with it. And this will add a nice stretch in the right side of the body. Anywhere from the tricep down into the serratus, maybe in your obliques. And you can reach just a little bit further. And you can release. 
You can hold each one of these positions as long as you like. Let's walk ourselves over to the right side. Right hand inside the right leg. And we raise our left arm up in the air. You can place it on the back of your neck, on your head, or you can reach long. And again, counting your breaths. Maybe you stay for five breaths here. Maybe it's only two. Maybe it's ten. And you feel a nice stretch anywhere from your tricep all the way down the left side of the body. Serratus anterior, maybe your lats, maybe your obliques. And we're going to roll back to the middle. If you feel really open here, you can fingertip walk your hands even more forward. Maybe you place your forearms on the ground, and if you're not there yet, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter what you look like in functional yoga. It matters where you feel it. And you should feel it in the groin, maybe in the hamstrings, maybe even something in your lower back. And when you're ready, you're going to slowly walk yourself up to a neutral position. And before you move your legs, I invite you to take a breath here. Take your hands, slide them underneath your knees, gently pick them up, and you have two options here. I suggest you roll onto your back and you take a mini Shavasana for one minute just to let the body settle back into its natural state. If you don't have time for a mini Shavasana, you can just sit there for a moment, let your body settle, and you can get up and go about your day or crawl into bed. I want to thank you for following along. Leave a comment below on your favorite yoga pose, what you would like me to explain or demonstrate, or how long you've been doing yoga. And I'll see you on the next chapter. Thank you for watching. Namaste.